This is a video of how to use SPSS to look at relationships between two continuous variables using simple correlation or simple regression. So this is going to be addressing the relationship between two continuous variables. We're going to use three different procedures to do this. We're going to use a graphical procedure to see what the relationship looks like. We're going to use a simple correlation and we're also going to use a simple regression. The data that we're going to be focused on for this exercise is to looking at the relationship between the Peabody Picture Vocabulary scores in kindergarten, these are Rosh Wright scores, and the Peabody Picture Vocabulary test scores in first grade for the same kids. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to get a sense of what the picture of the relationship between these two variables looks like. To do that, we're going to go to Graphs and then down to Legacy Dialogues. From there, we're going to scroll down to scatter plot. This is scatter dot thing right here. And we're going to click on simple scatter and then on define. And we're going to send our dependent variable in this case, which is the first grade Rosh Wright scores, to the y axis and the kindergarten Rosh Wright scores will be in the x axis. So this is the independent variable and this is the variable that we're trying to explain. We can fill in titles and options if we want to, but this will be sufficient for getting us a general idea of the, of the picture of the relationship between these two variables. We click on OK and our picture comes up. The first thing that we have to do is we have to double click. Okay, This is a left click on most mouses. Double left click and that activates this chart editor. Okay. We can see in general what the relationship looks like, but we want to draw the best straight line that represents these dots. Okay, So this is, we're going to generate the least squares line, the line of the least squared residuals through this blob of, number, of, blob of points. So to do that we go to Elements and we click on Fit Line to Total or at total. We get a line through there. We want to make sure that in terms of the nature of the line it shows that we're looking at the linear line. We don't necessarily need any confidence intervals around there right now, but you'll see that there's a number of choices that we could be looking at. For our purposes we're trying to figure out what the regression line through these points would look like. get a sense of where that line goes. This also gives us the actual regression line that we will also later develop using regression. But this is telling us that right now this line is crossing the axis at 45 and it has a slope of 0.58. That is for every one unit increase in the Peabody Picture Vocabulary scores in kindergarten. There is an increase of 0.58 on the Rosh Wright scores in first grade. Okay, So we have a sense of what that linear relationship is. We can see that our scores cluster pretty heavily around this one region. We do have some fairly low scores. Um, this is, these are scores that are low both in kindergarten and in first grade. And we have some scores that are quite high, above 100 in kindergarten and approaching 115 or 120 by the time that the child is in first grade. Again, these are Rosh Wright scores, not standardized scores, so there is expected to be some linear gain in those scores across time. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually just get a, a sense of the nature of the correlation between these two scores. So we go down here to correlate and over to bivariate. And our two variables are Peabody Picture Vocabulary Score, Rosh Wright in kindergarten, and also in first grade. We don't need any of the options. You can see what they are. They're just st additional statistics that can be applied. and whether we're going to exclude cases in a certain way. By excluding cases pairwise, we're basically saying if it doesn't have both of those variables, we're going to ignore it. Continue, and then we're going to click on OK. 
this is the result. We see that the correlation between these two variables is 0.726. Correlations can have any value between negative 1 and positive 1. These are fairly high positive correlations. We can get the coefficient of determination for these variables by squaring them. So it's going to be, if we square these numbers, it's going to be about 50% of the variance that is shared between Peabody Picture Vocabulary scores in kindergarten and in first grade. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to run a simple regression. To do that, we go back to Analyze. We come down here to Regression and to Linear. Our dependent variable in this case is going to be the Peabody Picture Vocabulary Rosh Wright scores in first grade. We're going to try to predict it from their kindergarten scores. There's a number of options that are available to us. We can look at the statistics that are available. These tend to be more appropriate and more powerful when we apply them to multivariate regression, multiple regression, where we have multiple predictors instead of one. So for our purposes, we're just going to click on OK and see what happens. And what you see is Here's our our, our 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 correlation, the same correlation that we had just seen for the correlation of 0.726. When we square that number, we get an R squared of 0.527. That tells us that 52.7% of the variance in Peabody Picture Vocabulary test scores in first grade are explained by Peabody Picture Vocabulary scores in kindergarten. There is no difference between the adjusted R-square and the actual R-square because we have such large sample size. We can come down here next and look at our actual model. And what we see here is we see these standardized slopes. Okay, The beta is the standardized slope and this is the unstandardized slope. So this is telling us that if our if we ended up with a kindergarten score that was zero, which is not really plausible, our first grade Rosh Wright score would be predicted to be 45. More important to us is this Rosh Wright um, is the slope that is associated with the Rosh Wright kindergarten score. What this tells us, and again, it's the same there, same score that we saw in the scatter plot, this is telling us that for every one unit increase that we find in our Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test kindergarten scores, our first grade scores on that same test should increase on an average by 0.584. But we remember from that plot that it's not a perfect prediction. This 0.726 tells us that while it's a good linear relationship, it is not a perfect correlation. If all of the scores on the Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test score in kindergarten were perfectly predicted by the Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test scores in kindergarten, that correlation would be 1.0. It's not, so what we find is that for a one unit increase in one variable, we get a 0.584, and again, our scores are spreading out around that prediction line as we saw in the scatter plot. So we see that these three methods, the scatter plot, the correlation, and the simple regression, all yield similar results, common results in some cases, and they all let us know about the nature of that relationship.